Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Nicole Griffin. RTV6 is working to get a resolution for frustrated residents in Indianapolis. People say they have been trapped inside their homes and their cars are flooded out. Now they're hoping our involvement can get that water moving on out. It was actually worse than this. It was over the curbs. Overflow from a lake inside this Councilton apartment complex is leading to a major flooding situation. The parking lot is covered in inches of water. That car on the very end right there, the Civic, is my car. Judith Hillier lives at Waterside of Castleton, but didn't agree to be this close to the water. And she isn't too happy that it could possibly damage her vehicle. We had to cover up my muffler with a trash bag yesterday just to make sure no water got inside. There was actually a lady. Her car did fill up with water yesterday. Judith says the complex did set a pump up in the water. Which is found in the middle of our little lake with the trash can. But she says there was a big bigger issue here and worries if something isn't done to fix it. The flooding will continue every time there was heavy rain. They said that there was blockage, not from our side, but they wanted to say that it was from the city side, uh, connecting the interstate. Really, I think we need to work on the drainage system here. Until then, she's having a difficult time even leaving her apartment. It's, you know, it's hard to get to work, hard to go get groceries or go about your daily life when you have to swim to your car. And she worries what's going to happen when there was more rain later this week. I just, I feel like we got to do better. Anytime we're getting rain now, we're just kind of scared. We tried contacting managers at the complex to see what is being done to resolve this issue, but we were told to call back on Monday. A spokesman from the Department of Public Works tells us the retention pond in question drains under private property into the state's public right-of-way and that the city doesn't own anything immediately downstream. We've now reached out to INDOT as well to find out who is responsible?